Hey ya friends, your gal Wickety here, with a new camp build already. I'm still ringing in the new year, and this camp is inspired in celebrating the upcoming Lunar New Year. 2020 is Year of the Rat, and let me show you around. Now quick disclaimer, I am a Lego junkie, and this camp is based on a Lego set that's going to be available in a few days, and it is by no means an accurate depiction of an actual Lunar New Year's Fair. I only have so many tools to play with in Fallout, so this is just my interpretation of it. My camp is located just outside the Palace of the Winding Path, which I chose for the view. There's a tourist overlook up on the hill that actually has a little bit of buildable space right outside of. I needed a space for my crafting benches and my vendors, so I made these little market stalls. Later in the video, I'll show you how to make these hanging walls. Got my vendors here on the left. And it is Year of the Rat, so I'm selling a little bit of mole rat merchandise. And a few things out and about to make it look like a market stall. I finally pulled the trigger and got these signs from the Atomic Shop. I actually really like them. Less camp budget than spelling it out. All right, let's go check out the secondary stall. We have our cooking area here. And my little wasteland seafood restaurant. And it's a perfect place for all those new mounts. And this over here is my attempt at a live fish tank. Inside, the crafting area is pretty compact. Just my personal essentials. And I do have a lot of confetti on the floor too, because it is a party. And back this way, we have the main pavilion. I actually really like the way that turned out. Oh, I do have a little uh, side building where I have keep my power generator and my shower. And I made the best that I could with a lunar calendar. I don't have a mount for every single animal that would actually be on the calendar, so I kind of made up my own. A cat represents the tiger, which is my year. I use this squirrel to represent the rabbit, the owlet for the rooster. Deathclaw is the dragon, Snallygaster is the snake, and a mutant hound is for the pig. Of course, we don't have a mounted rad rat, so a mole rat it is. All right, let's take a closer look at the pavilion. These lines might look just a little bit disturbing. I put the mounted mole rat on here because, well, it's the year of the rat. Those red raider tires are perfect for making the pillars. And stacking up these red tires was perfect for my pillars. I have some gardens. They should be uh, the same on both sides. And I was trying to figure out what to put in the middle here, so I tried my best at making a giant gong. I don't think it looks too bad. Here's a closer look at those back pillars. I did blueprint a few stacks so that it was a little bit easier to place. And I don't really have some decent building tools to make the side pieces of the building, so I did throw up some Santa crashes up there. Like I said, not an accurate depiction. Oh, and the tourist lookout. You can actually find Anne, the tourist, out here. I've shown a few players that have come by where she is a, a couple of times. And let's check out the view from up here, too. The palace is such a beautiful location. I wish I had access to those assets to build with. And the market area doesn't look too bad from here either. Okay, let's take a look at how I made those floating walls for the pavilion. You gotta start off with a couple foundations and use the walls with doorways because they just seem to work better for this. 
Stack up the walls to the height you want, place a roof. I find that the flat works the best for me. And place the wall you want to float. Then remove the roof and the extra walls. I go one foundation out so I can get a wall on the other side and repeat the process. After that, you can add whatever roof you want in between the two pieces as long as one of the walls is facing inwards. For the little market stall, it's actually a really easy building to make. It's just three foundations long with some walls around it. And add a flat roof piece for the most flexibility. And it's actually a lot easier to snap on the extra roof piece without having a wall right here, but still doable. Add the angled roof and a wall hanging on the edge. And that's about it to it. I like to add the little fences here for just some added curb appeal. So friends, what is your Lunar New Year sign? And are there any other Lego addicts out there? Well, I hope your year is filled with luck, happiness, and good fortune. I'm Wickedy, thanks for checking out my camp, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!